everyone welcome back to my channel um, as you can see from the title of the video today I'm gonna to be talking about all the books that I read in September and my October TBR um, I just threw these two videos together because I didn't have too many books from September and they're books that I've talked about in previous videos so I figured I would just kind of throw them in here tie up September and kick off October So starting with the books that I read in September, I was able to read the entirety of the Lux series by JLA and The Trader Queen by Danielle Jensen. So starting with the Lux series, um, I highly recommend it, especially if you are a fan of Twilight. I think they're super similar, um, which I actually talked about in a previous video, so I'll, I'll link that down below. We follow our main character, Kat, who moves to West Virginia with her mom after the passing of her father. Uh, where she meets kind of like the mysterious kind of douchey um, next door neighbor Damon and then one day um, Kat finds out that Damon is actually an alien <laughs> uh, surprise and Kat's kind of thrown into this paranormal world that she never knew existed um, I really like this book I really like the kind of just slightly different take on it than the average you know vampire fae um, creatures that are in a lot of fantasy books this is just a little bit different than what I've read um, if you're looking for an easy book or an easy series to kind of just fly through it's enjoyable you don't really have to think too much it's not really going to be um, overly difficult um, I highly recommend the Lux series um, it has good uh, action it has good kind of like enemies to lovers romance um, but it's also kind of like a slow burn romance, which I appreciate. It's not so much instant love. I just don't like that. And, um, yeah, it's really good. So I highly recommend it. And then I also read The Trader Queen in the month of September, um, which is the second book in the Bridge Kingdom series by Danielle Jensen. Highly recommend this series. It's one of my all time favorite fantasy series. Um, it's got everything you could possibly want. It's got, you know, this cool made up world, this badass assassin chick this like swoon worthy male lead um it's got steamy romance um it's got a slow burn romance it's got ups it's got downs it's got um just jaw dropping surprises throughout the whole series and um i just highly recommend it i tell everyone that i meet to read this series if you're looking for a good book um it's fast paced it's just enjoyable and i highly recommend it in the bridge kingdom which is the first book of this series we follow our main characters lara and aaron um and they kind of have this unexpected chemistry when lara is married off to aaron who is the king of ithacana and she is basically sent there from her home kingdom to basically infiltrate ithacana and Bring it down from the inside and she's kind of brainwashed as a child to think that he's a horrible human being that he takes advantage of um his position and that he's kind of like only cares about himself and when she goes there she kind of finds out that's could be farther from the truth and she's really torn between kind of what she's been taught her whole life and kind of what she's seeing for herself I don't want to go too into detail about this book because I don't want to ruin it for people who haven't read it yet or haven't read The Bridge Kingdom yet. Um, but if you haven't, I highly recommend it and go check it out. So now to go into the books that I hope to read in October. To start um, is A Rogue of One's Own by Evie Dunmore, which is the second book in the Bringing Down the Duke series. Bringing Down the Duke is a great historical romance novel and I'm really excited to jump into the second one. Um, I believe we follow two different main characters from the first book but it's characters that we were introduced to in the first book so um if you've read um the Tessa Dare series uh the governess game I believe it's called um it's similar to that vibe where um it's not the same main characters but we know them again the women's suffrage movement um is essential, is essential theme to this book do we follow Lady Lucy in this book who is one of the leaders in the women's suffrage movement and she's really um, pushing forward the movement trying to get women to vote and through her efforts she meets our male protagonist Lord Valentine. I'm excited to see how Evie Dunmore kind of makes this book different from the first book but also kind of gives us you know what we want you know the elements of the women's suffrage movement how passionate um, our characters are about that with also 
um, giving us, you know, that steamy romance that makes the book so fun. So I'm excited to read it and I'll let you guys know my thoughts. The next book I plan on reading in October is The City We Became by N.K. Jemisin. I've actually never read any books by N.K. Jemisin, but I've only heard great things about her writing and I'm really excited to pick up one of her books. I don't know too much about The City We Became um, as far as the plot, but I do know that it is a... Um, urban fantasy which is something that's really different for me and I'm really excited um, to kind of jump into this kind of like subgenre if you will of the, the larger fantasy genre um, you know most of the fantasies that I read um, take place in a made-up world and it's before phones for electricity um, before all those stuff but this takes place in um, contemporary New York City um, which is just really interesting and um, I'm from New York so I'm really excited to kind of see um, if I like recognize any spots or you know anything like that so it says the city we became tells a revolutionary story of culture magic and myths in contemporary New York City um, so that just sounds good and I'm really excited to pick this up the next book that I want to jump into in October is Jade City by Fonda Lee. Um, this is another urban fantasy, so I'm really just diving into this theme in the month of October. Um, but I have heard this book is amazing. Um, Reagan, Peru's project here on YouTube, um, really highly recommended this book. And I usually like her recommendations, so I'm really excited to jump into Jade City. Jade City takes place on an island where there's a lot of rival clans and Jade is kind of like um, the lifeblood of the city. It's kind of the main resource. It's kind of what everyone wants and it can also enhance magical abilities, which I think is a really interesting take on a magic system. I'm really excited to kind of see the you know, political warfare, the magic system and all of that kind of come in and I'm really excited to read it. So I'll give you guys my thoughts on that. The last few books that I plan on reading in October is the Imperium series by Claire Legrand. I've read the first two books in this series and I thought they were really good and I'm really excited for the third book to come out, um, which actually comes out this month. It's already pre-ordered. I'm waiting for it to arrive, but in the meantime, I want to reread the first two books, kind of just refresh my memory. Without giving too much away, in Fury Born, we follow our main character, Riel, who um, right at the beginning kind of exposes herself as having magical abilities when her best friend and the crown prince are attacked by assassins and she's not supposed to have powers nobody um except for you know specific i think they're called queens are supposed to have magical abilities but she kind of does um and she doesn't even really know why one of my favorite parts of this book is the character development um, of Riel throughout the whole, I guess the first two books. Um, at the beginning, she's kind of like this really centered, grounded, you know, morally conscious girl who doesn't abuse her powers. But then when she exposes herself as having magical abilities, um, you kind of watch it go to her head throughout the um throughout the books um, she's so much more powerful um than everybody else and it kind of leads her to think that she can kind of do anything she wants and get away with anything because no one can really stop her which i think is really interesting because normally you know our main character you want to root for you want to see them do good and get better and kind of you know become that person that you know they're supposed to be and i feel like in this book it's kind of almost opposite she kind of starts out as like the hero and then you watch her kind of fall and i just think that's really interesting and different um and i'm really excited to see how uh the third book kind of brings it all to conclusion kind of ties all the loose ends together yeah so those are the books that i read in september and that i plan to read in october um, I would love to hear what you guys are planning to read in October, um, if it's the same as me, um, or if you have any recommendations for me for the future, um, I would love to hear them. Um, yeah, but please like this video, subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye!